Uh, I will go just a wee bit further, though, um, and let me say, uh, before I uh, make what I would uh, echo as would be brief remarks, uh, that I want to bring greetings on behalf of uh, Senator Kevin Johnson, who had a conflict, uh, wanted to be here, but wasn't able to, uh, and also uh, Representative uh, Bobby Ridgway. Uh, the three of us uh, make up the Clarendon County uh, delegation, and so we're just happy that, uh, that you all are here, and the purpose that uh, brings you our way. Uh, I want to reflect just for a brief moment um, about a childhood in South Carolina. Uh, I met a couple of young ladies from the north where they had raising their hand and asked about the southern hospitality. Are they still in here? Ah, yeah, she's in the back, she's in the back. <laughs> but you all probably don't know anything about what I'm getting ready to share uh, as it relates to, to being up north. And so I just want to share a brief Ronnie Sab story. Growing up poor is something that many of us can relate to, regardless to, to our color. But I tell folks that I grew up in a house uh, that had a skylight before skylights became popular. <laughs> Anybody have any idea what I'm talking about? Yeah, the tin roof with the hole in it. And then I suggest to them that I was in a position uh, to tell whether or not there were roosters or hens underneath my house without them cackling. Anybody have any idea what I'm talking about? Wooden floors that had the holes in between. And so, such is my beginning. Uh, at some point in time in my life, I encountered this poem uh, that continues to serve as a form of inspiration for me that I share with others every once in a while. And those of you in here, you've arrived already. Uh, and so this poem uh, may not mean much to you, uh, and it, of course, talks along racial lines. It, it says you're living. Uh, you eat every day. Uh, stop crying. Kneel down and pray. You're just as good as any man who ever walked this land. Your home and clothes, they ain't the best, but they done stood the test. You ain't wealthy, but you're mighty healthy. And you've been working hard to pay your dues. And don't you ever stop, because one day, black boy, you're going to be on top. Black boy, be proud. And so it's just a self-esteem builder for me. And, and that's the kind of thing I think that each of us need to have within our being in order that we might be able to confront those things that come uh, our way. Uh, two more quick points and I'll leave. Let me tell you about a point of personal failure because I think in our failures we learn lessons as well. Uh, there I was at the University of Florida uh, in law school uh, with the brink of a promising life before me and, and not too far away uh, in Forsyth County. Anybody recognize that name, uh, Forsyth County? Uh, that's where the gentleman returned home and was greeted in the 80s uh, with all kinds of th things thrown at him. And so then the country polarized and decided that they would go uh, to Forsyth County and simply say things have changed and so have we as a people. And so there were a group of students at the University of Florida that decided that they were going to go. I was one of the ones that decided not to. I simply saw my life before me uh, because there was an opportunity, number one, to stand up for what was right. But number two, I was this kid in my family that I thought economically I could make all the difference in the world for my mother, my grandmother, and all of those around me who had lived their lives in want. I thought that I could be the difference maker. And so at that point in my life, I was unwilling uh, to put my life on the line for a cause that was greater than me. Uh, as I look back on that point in time in my life, I consider it a personal failure. And so then the challenge in this room is as we confront those things that may very well be bigger than we are, uh, will we step up to the plate like the folks in Briggs versus Elliott did? Lastly, lastly, whoever you are, uh, wherever you've come from. The motto in South Carolina is, as long as we breathe, we hope. And I believe that because of hope, therein lies incredible opportunities. The one thing about Briggs versus Elliott when I look back was the argument advanced 
by Elliot. He said, well, gee, um, these folks don't pay enough taxes uh, to get buses like the other kids are getting. Does that sound familiar? In 2013, aren't we hearing the same arguments that we don't want our tax dollars helping the poor? We don't want our tax dollars going for this, that, and the other. My point, my point is that Elliot was wrong then. Those who are advancing the argument now, I submit to this group, they are also wrong. We are our brothers and sisters keepers. And so thank you for the conversation. Uh, thank you for what will likely transpire as a result of the conversation. Uh, God bless. Uh, safe travels back. Uh, come back to Clarendon County. But if you want really, really good barbecue, come to Williamsburg County. <laughs>